Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Okay, the other day I was screwing around with my lawnmower and I did a stupid, stupid thing. I got the flywheel into the fuel tank and rubbed a hole in the fuel tank. It was a bad day. I, I was not proud of myself. So, there's, there's really no way to glue this, epoxy this, um, you use, you can try, uh, baking soda and, uh, CA glue, super glue. It don't work. Not on HDPE. This is HDPE. It says so right here. Uh, you just can't, you just can't repair this with glue. One of the great properties though of HDPE is its low melting point and high scorch point. It, it melts a long time before it burns. So it's, it's reasonably easy to repair with a little bit of, of trial and error and experience. Now, I've never done this before. I've, in all of my years, I've never tried to weld plastic. Uh, I guess this is not weld. This is really welding because you are raising the parent or base material to its melting point and adding a filler of similar material melted in so it's welding maybe recasting remolding but it's welding so i was at hazard fraught and i've seen one of these this is item number six zero six six two plastic welding kit this was under 20 bucks um Hey, let's give her a shot. So it comes with a construction manual. And basically it's a soldering iron with a flat brass. I hope it's brass. But a flat tip on it. And you get a little bit of welding stuff. Rod. Quite a bit of it actually. Enough to do several repairs. Uh... You get a little stainless steel wire brush, which, you know, it is what it is. And some stainless steel looking reinforcement screen. I think the idea with this is, if you've got a big linear crack, let's say in a, a plastic fender or something, you can cut a piece of this and melt it into the plastic from the back side to reinforce and then overlay it maybe with some more plastic. And that gives you some reinforcement. So, anyway, if this works and I can actually do something with it, uh, I've got some bust o -matic clips on my Chevrolets that, that need some attention. You know, just different stuff. But, anyway, we're going to give this a try on this fuel tank and see what happens. Okay, this thing's been warming up for about five minutes. Now, the instructions say to melt the stick onto the soldering iron thing and then splatter that on your thing there, your part to be repaired. But that doesn't seem to be effective because the stuff won't pile up on there. It just kind of melts and scoots. So I'm going to do my best. Sorry guys.
does seem to be getting plenty hot. I hit the camera again. Sorry, dudes. Okay, I'm going to get the camera out of my way and finish this up, and then we'll meet back in a minute. Well, here's the results. Now, it's not pretty. And the more I tried to make it look pretty, the worse it got. The, I think the key to it is having a wet rag close and uh, taking the heat out. You know, just like any other welding operation, you know, and real welding, if you get it too hot, things just fall apart. So, I think it's going to hold. I know it holds up to me blowing through it and doesn't leak none. Uh, in hindsight, I should have uh, took a stick or my finger or something, and you can see down there in the bottom where I was working on it, it just kind of fell in on itself. That's okay. I don't care. This is a gas tank for an old wore out lawnmower. We're not, we're not working on a fine Swiss watch here. So, well, it is what it is, you know. It works. If it makes this lawnmower last another year or two, I'm sure I'll find some other way to kill the lawnmower. So, thank you all for watching. And all, as always, Y'all drive safe, watch for deer.